probably you know me, I am a Mexican journalist. First of all, First of all, I I wanted to tell you that I was almost not coming because of the current situation. But I owe so much to this country. Uh, my I got my education in here. I went to Miami University in, in Ohio. I have so many good friends. Some of my best friends are from the United States. Bob and Terry Brown have been so nice with me and at the same time Dan McEvoy, Robert Reid and Dr. Jonathan Reed deserve my participation to back this incredible case. Then, even though my wife almost divorced me last Wednesday, because she thought I was stubborn and stupid and it was the worst time to come to a congress. Jesus Christ. After I said that, I want to, to tell you my, my part of this story. I met Dr. Jonathan Reed and Robert Reid and Dan McEvoy last October the year 2000 in Santa Fe, where I was invited by Dr. Richard Hoagland to give a presentation. Uh, Dr. Jonathan gave me the book and asked me to, to investigate his case. Uh, Daniel Munoz, my good friend, coordinator of investigations, read the book told me that I should read it because it was a very interesting story. Then we both met Dr. Jonathan Reed last March here in Loughlin, Nevada. And here I saw the original video. And besides that, I saw something that attracted my attention. I took the video to Mexico we made a uh, special work to that video and uh, that convinced me that this case was interesting and should be investigated. And as you do in your, in your uh, system, your legal system, when you ask people to become uh, a jury, probably I was the right investiga investigator to do this work because I was not, I haven't been prejudiced by, by the case. I didn't know anything about it. I didn't know about the, the discussion, the polemics, anything that went around the case. All the heat that Jonathan took last year, I didn't know anything. All I did was to investigate the case because I thought the video told me that there was something to it. Then, we were able to, well, my friend Daniel Munoz, uh, under my advice, went to Seattle to meet with some witnesses uh, and to go to the place with Jonathan. And we were able to have these witnesses on video for the first time. Uh, especially Harold Chacon, who also gave us some of the, the copies of the, his titles, of uh, uh, his degrees in uh, the Pontifical Catholic University of Puerto Rico. We were also able to investigate in that university if he was, as he said, a biologist, and if he had given classes, as he claimed, and we found that everything he said was real. And then we 
got involved with him, and we got so much more information from the analysis and that and the testimony of Dan McEvoy, a man that I respect so much because after I met him, I have been able to prove his honesty, his loyalty, his honor. And uh, I really believe 100% in what he says when he declares that he saw Jonathan Reed disappear. If I didn't have that two testimonies, probably even for me it would be difficult to believe in this fantastic case. But we have these two people and we have the physical elements. We have also the so-called artifact, the link, the bracelet. And we know we know that it works. Then we have for the first time the chance to prove to the world that this case is not just real, but is the key to open our minds to this incredible reality that is all around us, as I'm going to talk later, of what has been happening, not just in England, but in New York and Mexico. And everybody, everything is telling me that we are ready to have not just the contact, but communication with this new kind of reality. And that's why this case is so important. I have heard many people that claim to have contact with these entities, but very few can prove it. And of course, none of them have been able to have a body, an extraterrestrial body, in their houses, nobody of them have, has been able to take samples of blood, skin, brain tissue, bone, as, the, as uh, Dr. Jonathan Reed did. For that reason, I believe this case is so different than any other case. And it's because of the dog of the beach, Susie, who was the hero behind this story because she was able to grab this alien by the arm and she fought, uh, she, fought. she tried to, 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 I don't know, to bite him or do something to him, but this being was able to kill Susie in less than 30 seconds, as I understand. That made Dr. Jonathan Reed so furious that instantly he hit this being in the head and this being fell to the ground. He thought he was dead. For that reason he was able to take the body to the house. And that's the reason he also found the link 